For this question, we are asked to choose one of the following products by circling your selection. The choices that we have here are push along toy for a small child, swimsuit, electrical system in a washing machine, seating in a doctor's waiting room, or a cooking pan. We are asked to discuss in detail the properties required by the product you have selected. There are nine marks available for this question, so it is really important that we choose the right product that matches our material specialism. For example, if your material specialism is textiles, you may wish to choose the swimsuit as your product. If, for example, metals and alloys are your material specialism, you would probably be best suited to the cooking pan. This is the example I will be using for the model answer today. By choosing the product that lends itself best to your material specialism, you stand a better chance of ensuring you maximise the marks you achieve for this question. We can see here that the command word is discuss. We know that the command word discuss means to set out reasons which consider different perspectives in a balanced manner. We are being asked in particular to discuss the properties for the product that we have selected. On my screen I have put up the mark scheme so that you can understand how the marks for this question are allocated. We can see that we must demonstrate a thorough knowledge and understanding of the properties required. To achieve the full marks available for this question, we must consider a minimum of four properties and ensure that we explain each. Before we begin writing our answer, let's recap what we mean by the term properties. Well, there are two types of properties, physical properties and working properties. Physical properties such as absorbency, fusibility and density are measurable characteristics of a material, whilst working properties describe how the material reacts when a force is applied. This could include their strength, elasticity or toughness. So let's begin thinking about our cooking pan. The purpose or function of a cooking pan is to allow us to put ingredients or food into the pan so that it can conduct heat and the food can be cooked. So the first property that we can identify is that the cooking pan must have thermal conductivity as a physical property. To ensure that our pans can be retained for subsequent use, we must ensure that the pan is also corrosion resistant so that it is not damaged by the food that it comes into contact with throughout its use. The pan itself also requires toughness to resist any impact if it's hit or accidentally dropped and malleability will also ensure that the cooking pan can be formed into the correct shape throughout its manufacturing process. I have talked so far about the base and main body of the pan, however Within my answer, it would be good practice to discuss the handle of the cooking pan and acknowledge that this feature of the cooking pan will have some contrasting features to the main body of the pan itself. For example here, I have noted that the handle must be heat resistant so people don't burn themselves when they need to hold the cooking pan. Now that we have completed our answer, Let's go back and read it through from the beginning. This will allow us to identify how many points we have noted and to ensure that we have explained them all to demonstrate thorough knowledge and understanding. A cooking pan must have the ability to conduct heat, thermal conductivity, so that the food it holds can be cooked. That is the first two marks. I've given a reason, a property, and then I've explained why this is important. So we can continue on. The pan should also be corrosion resistant so that it is not damaged by the food that it comes into contact with during use. Again, we have two marks there. 
the use of so that has been valuable in the first two points that I have raised to allow us to access the extra mark for each. The fifth and sixth mark are rewarded for the identification that the pan requires toughness to resist impact if hit or dropped. Again, I have given the statement of a property followed by the reason. Malleability is also required to ensure that the cooking pan can be formed into the correct shape drawn manufacture. Again, another property, malleability, and then the reason why. Finally, the last statement also allows us to make three additional points. If the cooking pan has a handle, then the handle will require different properties to the main portion and base of the pan. That's one point, which are considered above. For example, the handle should be heat resistant, second point, so that people do not burn themselves, third point. This means that altogether we have raised 11 marks throughout our answer to this question. When we look at the top mark band for seven to nine marks, it says that we must demonstrate thorough knowledge and understanding of the properties required. Well, we've done that. We then go on to see that we must have used a minimum of four properties. Again, something else we've done. And that explanations are given for why all the identified properties are needed. And again, this is something that we have achieved within our answer. If when you reread your answer, you feel that you haven't given enough detail or identified a minimum of four properties, then you can go back and obviously add more information to try and progress your answer further towards the full marks that are available. If you are struggling to identify properties, then think logically. The products that you are often given to choose from are generally products that you would have previously encountered. For instance, you know that seating in a doctor's waiting room will need to be hard wearing as it will be in regular use and it needs to last a long time. We also know that hardness would be a great property for a push along toy to prevent the toy from being damaged or scratched. The key takeaway from this video is to ensure that you explain why the product you have chosen specifically requires the properties that you have identified.